between 13th and 17th of January is called Makara Sankaranti or the Pongal. In this Pongal, there are various types. There is what is called as Bogi, which is celebrated and uh, Lord Indra is supposed to be the god who brings rain and thunder and lightning. So celebrations are done in his name and houses are clean and washed and decorated and uh, they are kind of re-consecrated for the new year by using certain materials like mango leaves and a certain amount of uh, the first cut of the paddy crop that has come to enhance the life vibrance in this and uh, the bogey always brings out all the unnecessary things in one's home. This should also be done with one's life, that uh, all the unnecessary things should be gotten rid of in this season so that life begins fresh. So this tradition has not only agricultural uh, uh, undertones to it, there is a celestial undertone to it and a spiritual undertone to it. And this is because the yogis practiced a certain thing, the common people took it up in a different way as it's relevant to themselves. Makar is most important for the yogis because they all make a new, fresh effort towards their spiritual process. And accordingly, people who are in uh, family and normal situations, they also make a fresh attempt in whatever they are doing in their lives. So this is the beginning of a new cycle that we have completed, twenty-seven nakshatras or hundred and eight padas around the sun and it's a new beginning and a new cycle. The Pongal celebrations itself are uh, broken into four forms. Uh, there is bogi and then there is martu Pongal that is honoring all the animals which play an important role in making the agricultural process happen. Well, today it's all machines which have come in. But you can't grow food out of just machines. If you do not put the animal waste into the land, there will be no question of producing any agricultural produce. So animals which work in the farms have always been very important part. And uh, on this day, uh, the bulls and cows which uh, made the life of uh, pastoral communities are worshipped and they are decorated, they're painted up and uh, all kinds of things are done to them in terms of, uh, you know, pampering them in so many different ways. The idea is uh, to recognize that how important a role they have in the making of our lives. And the next day is the Kanam Pungal, it's a community affair, that means to go and see people. So it has various ingredients of uh, cleansing up, of appreciating and expressing gratitude to all the creatures who are involved in making up our lives and then in getting involved with the community that you have to go and meet people on that day. It's a time of festivity and uh, with the advent of modern life, we should not remain uh, hooked on to televisions and computers. It's time to come out and celebrate, feel the air, feel the change in the weather, feel the change in what's happening within yourself because of the changes that are happening in the planet.